data okay so without wasting much time i'll go this way. new data set good so i have the data set already just permit me i have to call this Good. So I've copied the data and I just have to paste. I just have to paste. When I paste it, you find out that the values are here already. Sorry. Or to give me these are the items, the research items or to give me the answers good so i have them this way just permit me let me delete all this way down i really just want to make use of these so from here permit me to delete them good so this is what i'm making use of as you can see on the screen already i have this so i will be looking for the standard deviation looking for the standard deviation but before then i will have to calculate the total so to do that i simply go to transform compute variables put variables so what am i looking for in um, is an arithmetic stuff i'm looking for so i'll look for the sum looking for the sum on my sbss go look for sum i see that as the standard deviation but i'm looking for sum friends to get the sum so some of what some of if you if you can see from this place i put it that this is 10 11 12 variables so i have some of this comma this comma this comma variable 13. so uh the targets I call it what total. I call it total. Then when I do this, you will see that it has created a column for me here. Total with name total. These variables I can rename them. I can't have to go to the variable view. Then here I have to rename this to items. Items. I'll name this to S A A disagree, strongly disagree. Good. So I have this my variable in this way. Now to get the mean, I go to what? I go to data. I go to data to get the mean. Good. I go to data, then I go when sorry, I go to transform, sorry, not data. Compute variables. I compute variables. Then this is what the mean. So what is the mean? The mean is what is mean. So I just have to change it to mean. I change it to mean. I've said okay. Then an incorrect variable name. Either the name is okay. I have to use cap later, please.
Okay, so give me error. Let me just get it from here. The main. So, uh, I believe this, I get this, the main. So it's mean of this, comma, this, comma, this, comma, this. So I get this, I do OK. Then if, as you can see, the mean here is given. But this mean is not the research mean, the mean of, uh, using what? Using a like scale, using a like scale standard. I also, I, I, I'll show you that that I can get from the standard deviation from here also. Likewise, I'll have to come to uh, transform, compute variables, and it's what SD, SD. Once I just look for SD, you see it here, S is SD. So I have my variables already. I have to say, sorry, the name has to change. Yes, that's true. The name has to change. I'll make this word S standard deviation so i'll say okay uh, uh, change existing variable name okay okay existing variable name i have to change it so uh yeah 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 this is this already existing so i'll go back to compute variables uh put this Standard deviation, good. So it's we compute this time around, good. I can see it is computed already. So this gives me the standard deviation of what I have here. The standard deviation. Oh, sorry for those that cannot see this. This gives me the standard deviation, the mean, and the total as well. Standard deviation, the mean, and the total. But I want to show you how you can get that in a statistical way using the like scale. This just gives me as if they are just uh, stand alone data. So in a bit, I will show you. Please go away. Thank you. Okay, sorry for that break. I'm back. I had to attend to some issues. That's why. So to get the descriptives of this Lacquer scale, we just simply come to analyze. Analyze, you go to descriptive statistics. Then you go to where? Descriptives. Then in descriptives, you pick the variables you need, which are this form. I'm picking this form. That the variables are need, then you come to option. When you get to option, I want this to be shown here, so I have to adjust my window so that we can see it. I can see it very well. Now you see it, it's showing you. The script that I've selected by variables, I've selected them as you can see on the screen. Um, initially, I went to I went to descriptive options where I selected uh, 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 I selected the mean. I want the mean. I want the standard deviation. If I want the minimum and the maximum value, among the range, yeah, I will select the what's the thing I want in the descriptive. I'll select it from this way. So once I'm done with this, all I have to do is to say continue. Then on the other window, which is the descriptive window, the descriptive window, I'll have to do what? I'll say okay. Good. Then you see from the from my output screen. My Apple screen, you see from my Apple screen, 
that I already have, I already have what? I already have this tabulated for me. The standard deviation, I have the standard deviation, I have the, I have the standard deviation, I have the maximum, I have the minimum, all calculated for me. So, using the descriptive method, we can get our mean, our standard deviation, and we can also get whatever thing we want to get. This means this standard deviation is for the four variables, for the four variables. So, this is how we can use SPSS to get the mean, the standard deviation of our data when we are analyzing our questionnaire. Please, if you do not understand anything, you, can, you are very free to comment in the section below. Ask your question and I will get back to you. Please do have a lovely day and remember, stay safe. Thank you.